Hi, hope everyone's been blessed and highly favored. Let me give you guys a really quick update before I get into um, discussing my IVF medications. So I went in for my um, post-op on January the 6th. Um, I started my birth control on January 23rd and um, took it for 14 days. Um, I completed my last pill on February the 5th. Um, and then I stopped taking it and two days later on February the 7th is when I got my period. I think I jumped the gun a little bit because they like for you to come in on day two of your period for your um, your baseline ultrasound and blood work or whatever. But I was still like in that flow spot, flow spotting phase. I know it's TMI, I'm sorry, but you know. So I was still in that phase. So I think I may have jumped the gun and went in a little bit too early because my hormone levels were low. I forgot which one they were, which one it was, but it was low. So I had to wait two more days and then I had to go back in again um, to do a repeat blood test. And luckily, thank God, my hormone levels were where they needed to be. Um, and yesterday, which is February the 10th, I started day one of my Gonal F and Menopure injections. The injections were so easy that, well, it was one injection. It was so easy that I thought I was doing it wrong. Like you ever had something that's like, okay, this is a little bit too easy. I know it's gotta be a little more to it than this, but um, it was it was easy. So that's all that's been um, going on um, right now. Uh, our total, our rough total, rough estimate of what we spent so far on IVF is 11000 five hundred and forty two dollars that's not including gas or hotel expenses or anything that's just on procedures you know to get this uh baby making show on the road so i know you guys have seen a thousand and twelve um injection videos so i'm just going to show y'all how my doctor's office showed me how to prepare my injection but i'm going to inject it off camera Okay, so here's my schedule. As you can see, let me see. I am on, so I have to look, so I am on Menopure and Gonal F. I'm on 75 Menopure and 150 Gonal F. I don't know if they're milligrams, international units, I don't know, but that's my dosage. Um, on Friday, which will be my, um, after three days of stemming, I have to go in to lab care in Greensboro, uh, North Carolina on Friday to have my blood drawn to make sure that I'm on the correct levels and that my body is doing what it's supposed to be doing. So um, that'll be on Friday. So without further ado, okay. Let's see where to put this. Stick it right here. Okay. So this is how my um, RE's office told me to prepare my injections. Now I'm a little slow because this is only my second injection. So let me try. If you hear growling in the background, the dog and the cat are arguing again. Okay, so should have been more prepared for this. Okay, so here's the alcohol pad. I've washed my hands. Here is the water or the whatever part this is to the manicure and here's the actual powder which is what we're going to need for this so take that off. The nurse said to wipe them both down with the alcohol pad. Then okay so I got so confused guys because I didn't realize that well my um, RE's office they gave me I had these syringes and I was like wait a minute I'm supposed to be doing one cc of the solution into the powder but it says mls on it and the nurse said that mls and cc's were the same thing I didn't know that but that's what she said look how huge this needle is can you imagine if you had to put that in your your body I'd freak out I really would okay so I draw drawed it back a little bit. And I'm going to get one CC out of here. Okay. 
So that's one cc. And then I take it and I put it in here. If, if I can get it in. Right, so I put it in there. Okay. And I take it and I go like that. Right, till it's basically like that liquid. Then I take my pen and I, I open the pen. So I open the pan and let's see, stick this on like that. This is my Gano F. Then I take it out and leave that on for a second, then dial it up to 150. Okay. That's 150. You probably won't be able to see it, but that's 150. Okay. So I take it, then I stick it in here. Okay, hold it in there for 10 seconds. And then I take it out. See, all my medicine is in here. All right, so put that back on. Take this off. Oops. So take the cap off. Or attempt to take, I guess I'll take the cap off off camera because I'm having technical difficulties. Okay, so after that, then I take this. Let's see, is it this one? Yeah. Stick it on like that, right? Then I undo my needle. And I put it on, put that on like that, and draw all of it up. I'm sorry if some of this is not on camera, guys. I'm like not that great at uh filming. Oh, wait a minute, I did something wrong. Okay, yeah, I did something wrong. Hold on a second. Okay, wait a minute, let's see. So that's like that. Oh, okay, so I think I had it right. Yeah, I did have it right, I just didn't twist it on. Okay, let's... Is that all of it? Okay, that's all of it. Now, undo that. Right? Then I put on one of my smaller needles. I'm sorry, I wasn't more prepared. I give props to uh, all people who do these videos because it's, um, I don't know, I'm not gonna say it's hard, but it's uh, <laughs> very different. So, okay. All right, <laughs> let me not, I'm trying not to get nervous, guys. Hold on a second. And I really don't want to re-record this, guys. Let's. All right, all right, hold on one second. So I've got all my stuff in these big bags. Excuse me for one second, I'm very sorry. I think these are the ones, yeah, these are the ones that I'm looking for. Okay. Rookie's mistakes, ladies. Sorry, rookie's mistakes. Okay, so. All right, so push it in just a little bit. And look how little that needle is. It, I, you can't even feel it. Well, I can. So. 
that's all for right now.